Hello, welcome back to a Thrift Tall video. Today, as you probably saw on my YouTube shirt earlier, I went to the Google Outlet as well as some other places which we'll get into and got some stuff. So the first place I went to was actually a library. They actually sell stuff for a dollar, some extra stuff, I guess. I'm not sure why. I think I'm missing one of them, but if I find it, we'll showcase it. But picked up some stuff. At some point, I'm going to do Amazon selling, so some of this stuff will be very good. So I got some sealed stuff. It's the uh, 2004 Punisher movie. Never saw it, actually. Star Trek Beyond. These are all sealed, so I picked them up. This is interesting. It's the uh, Toy Story 10th Anniversary Edition. This came out in 2005, so that's pretty old. Well, not really old, but it's old for me. Back to when I was five years old. So that's pretty interesting. And he got some books for myself. I didn't have the Hunger Games or the sequel. And they had it. For a buck. You can't beat that price. Like I said, anything that you want that might be... Yeah, anything you want looks interesting to you will be on my website. Well, for most of it stuff. Some of it won't. Some of it I'm keeping. Website. All that's in the channel description. Most of the stuff here is not going to the website. Some games. These are from a pawn shop. My fiance got them before I did this video. Right right before I made this video and got a good deal on these so I think got this for uh, two dollars this is Star Wars Battlefront 2 I haven't heard it was good or not because the microtransactions in it but I don't like about Xbox One games is that for some reason the disc is on this side instead of this side I have no idea why they decided to do that and it bothers me every time I open up one of these it, why Oh, this is the other thing I got from the libraries. And Tom, every time I go there, I found at least one game. And this time was Uncharted 4. Fortunately, not in an original case. But hey, there's the game, and the disc looks pretty fine. I'm not sure if this is going for sale or, sale or not, or I'm keeping it. I've seen this game a lot, so I'm probably going to sell it, because I'd rather have the actual a copy that actually has the original case. Just because I see this game so many times. Plus, I'm probably not going to play it that often. Got a good deal on this. Apparently got this for ten dollars, if I'm correct. That's pretty cool. So the original was twenty five, ten bucks. I definitely had Mario Galaxy, but it's one of those games with child games was shared. It's like, hey, I'm my own copy. The only problem is that's got a little chip in there, but other than that looks pretty good. It just looks good. Comes with the manual. It's a great, a great game. Some other games. This is, I think she got this for five bucks. Attack on Titan or Xbox One. You just call it Attack on Titan. Interesting. She gets good deals at these pawn shops. I don't know what she does there to get those good deals. Uh, this is another game she got. Assassin's Creed Origins. Also $2. Makes me organize all these games. Assassin's Creed Unity. This is the uh, limited edition, apparently. Also $2, I think. Most of these games you have for $2. I don't know how she does it. And Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Oh, and this is the last one. She, I think she got this for 10 or 5 bucks. Don't remember. This is the Avatar game on Wii. Are these even... Okay, they're all in there. Looks like... Those are all the interesting game stuff. Now we find the interesting thrift stuff they got from Goodwill Outlet. Today wasn't a game or media day at all, but it was a uh, book day. That makes any sense. Like, this pretty much all this stuff here. Yeah, I'll run like maybe three items are going on the website. So the first thing I found, this guy is not the best condition. He's about to get sewed. But hey, it's a Mickey Mouse pillow. Hello, pet. So he's gone on the website. I actually was not sure how much the Costco was well, because I had to go to the bathroom and my fiance paid for this crap. But it's never a lot. Here's the only. 11 bucks for everything. It was 11 bucks, she said. So that's a pretty good deal. You make, you make your money back from the Google Outlet pretty easily. Well, I did not pick this up, I guess she picked it up. This is Casper on VHS. I did watch this as a movie. It has Can I keep you? Yeah, it has that creepy scene where he says, Can I keep you to Wednesday Adams, the original one. Not the original, the one from the 90s movies. Did you know that, Des? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he wants to keep her. I actually have to. It's probably the best one to watch it for Halloween, but I actually need to rewatch that movie. It's been for used to watch that a lot as a kid. Very nostalgic. Uh, we got. This one put this terrible Bruce. tape on that. This is. I know what character it is. This looks like it's battery operated. I'm not sure what this was for, because it looks like it had like, some track. This is the Cruise from Cars 3. Oh, it's a pretty good figure. Uh, I'm not sure where this is going. 
my pack source shelf is getting really full, but I do like the character, so it might go on there. We will see. What do you think? Should it be in my pack source collection? Yes. She says yes. So. Cruz is my favorite. All right, so this is one of her things. Is I think Bomb's the guy's name from Angry Birds movie. She likes Angry Birds. What can I say? We'll call it random. We got a Wreck-It Ralph. That's pretty cool. Uh, funny enough, I wish I got this earlier because someone that when I was at the uh, flea market, which was two days ago, was asking, "Do you have Wreck-It Ralph?" I was like, "No, not Wreck-It Ralph," because I had a Penelope plush. And look, I just picked up Wreck-It Ralph. Pretty cool. Wreck-It Ralph's a good movie. The sequel is terrible. I'm not sure anyone knows what this is, but this is, I think it's Baby Dinosaur from the TV show Dinosaurs. I never saw it, but I know 80s kids are insane when it comes to their uh, their uh, merchandise, so there you go. All I know about that show is the end of the show of them all dying. Not really dying, but that's a dark way to end. This is definitely not yeah. well for sale because my fiancé loves Stitch. This is actually an original Stitch bobblehead from the... Uh, the first movie came out. It looks a little weird, you know, because he looks his stitch. They don't usually make stitch toys like this. Like he's missing the uh, middle part here. He looks a little awkward. So it's actually a very interesting stitch toy because you don't when the stitch merchandise nowadays looks so uniform. But this is like before it came out, so it's kind of interesting because they marketed the hell out of this character. You know that. So this is a interesting looking Superman toy. It looks a little old. Actually, let's see where he's from. This is Burger King. I guess it's early 2000s because it's the old Burger King logo. But I thought it was looked pretty interesting and older, so it like you push it down, it can launch up. I, it kind of looks like the animated show, but I'm not sure this is from Superman the Animated Series. It could be, it could not be. He looks a little a little off. But I thought that was kind of fine. Here's something that probably would make my whole money back on the whole thing. This is a uh Look at this big old Tauntaun figure. It's only had a character to go on him from Star Wars. I mean, look how big this thing is. Oh my goodness. It has movability. And this is from 1997, so this is a 90s Star Wars toy. So that's pretty cool. That's, before, that's pre prequels. I'm not sure that adds money to stuff, but yeah. If any guys are interested in this, go on me on the website in Macari. Let's see. We got. Judge Claude Frodo from Hunchback of Notre Dame. Oh, fire! I guess he's one of the McDonald's toys. That's pretty cool. He's one of the most interesting villains. He's very evil. This is also not going for sale. This is because she loves Hello Kitty, too. This is from two, 2015, so it's recent. And Hello Kitty's got some... I got, this had a brain tumor or something. Cause her, she's got a giant hole in her head. So this is a brain damage Hello Kitty, I guess. Uh, it's a raspberry. Oh, this is raspberry it's a strawberry shortcake that does a little dance. I guess this is a keep, right? Huh? So much stuff she gets. I found this, like a tech deck, but it's for the uh, show Young Justice. I've never seen it, but I hear a lot of people like it. So maybe I'll watch it one day. It's one of the TV shows I gotta watch. But yeah, it was very interesting. I picked up a Paw Patrol because I know the little kids like this stuff. I don't know anything about it, but hey, it costs like, what, a quarter base for this? I mean, you take all the items in here because I'm, I'm bad at math and divide it and see what the price is. Here's one thing I'm not keeping. This is a, uh, a Minnie Mouse Pirate Caribbean, I believe. So yeah, You're Pirate not Caribbean. That? I, I am keeping it. I just said that because I have this. If they've seen my videos, you know my room's where I have a collection of these. So this is going right down here. I guess you can't see that. But hey. Let's see. Oh, this is a, uh, I think a door knocker for, uh, yeah, Kanga. So you knock on the door for this. And this is definitely Winnie the Pooh stuff. So you know who's keeping that? This woman who's over here. What is this? This is a Barbie toy from the 99. She's got a cake. It's not an actual doll, but it's from, uh, McDonald's. So we'll see. Let's see what else we got here. We got. That's a bad impression. I like to look at the dates because I'm obsessed with the dates. I'm sure you guys can tell that. What is this from? It doesn't tell me. But it's a little Disney blue. I need I need more extra Disney stuff because a lot of it sold when I was at the flea market. Uh, I thought this bait 
might be an interesting pick up is uh Manny, I think. Manny from Ice Age. Ice Age. Here I see Ice Age. All ten of those movies. Actually, I only need six. Or five, I don't even know. Yeah, but it's trunk moves. I haven't seen those movies in five billion years. Here's another weird... Uh, blueberry. B blueberry. Got these... Strawberry shirt naked characters. Let's see. We got Naked Elsa. She let herself go, I guess. That's why she's naked. <laughs> let it go. Let's see. What's the date on this? 20s. 16. Little kids like Elsa, I guess. But she has no clothes, so we'll see how well that will sell. Oh, uh, here's a Krusty the Clown. I did find a part with this who had a date on him, but I'm not sure what this one is. It might be a little later. He's like a vampire for some reason. What, what was that in the show? I know there's an episode they Tree House of Horror that you call vampires, but I don't remember Krusty in particular becoming a vampire. But who knows? I have to look this up, but he's worth money. Because the, the part I found is very interesting, and we'll get to him. Actually, right now, look at this. I knew this was interesting when I saw Blue Shirt Bart, because you know that's an old Simpsons. For some reason, in marketing, he was blue. What he had, I mean, he's not blue, he's yellow. But he has a blue shirt on, which is weird, because in all the episodes, he has an orange shirt. I forget why he has a blue shirt in the marketing. It was some weird thing. Like, his proto-design had a blue shirt. But I find it weird that all the merchandise in the early 90s had blue, this blue shirt, including commercials. But yeah, this one is from 1990. It says so on the bottom. It's like, oh my goodness, that's early, early. This was during Bart Mania. So that's pretty cool. Eat, eat, eat my shorts. We got Tweety. I'm not sure where this is going. Probably just, are you going to keep this? But yeah, she wants to keep it. This is a painter, Tweety. Tweety, my inch, my, I don't know my inch. I said that wrong, didn't I? Sweetie. Here's another thing. You're keeping a lot of stuff, I just realized. This is a Furby. She loves Furbies. This one is like a pixel eyes for some reason. That's kind of weird. It's also got a weird hollow head. But it's a little Furby. What can you do? And of course she keeps this because she loves Stitch. This is a, I guess, Hawaiian shirt Stitch with sunglasses. Neat. We already have this, but I thought, hey, could we could go up for sale. This is a 20... Two? Is it 22? Or is it 23? 22. 22 from uh, Soul. The last good Pixar movie. Pixar movies are sh crap recently. It's a shame. We got little Captain Hook. That's, that's pretty, this one's a pretty nice figurine. He actually, he's actually not a figurine. He moves, so he's bigger. Just don't show him into a crocodile. We're almost on this bag. This one's pretty cool. It's Reptar in a little stand. Reptar's pretty cool. It's like Godzilla. But this one is from 97, so this is pretty, this is pretty old. So you want some old mer Rugrats merchandise? There you go. You're older than me. This not that swell. I didn't even exist yet. Fun fact, I guess. We got Ice King who's sliding. I guess he had some ice thing, but that launched out, but uh, it's not there. I think I have another one of those somewhere in there. Uh, here's a pig, Angry Birds pig. Nothing that exciting. Here's another Barbie thing, little figurine. I don't know what she's doing there. Uh, this is a fast charger. I don't know why we ha I got we got this. We don't fast charger well, stuff. Our original one's crap. Can oh, I have that now? Oh my goodness, you're so deep here. Here's a uh, here's a little Barbie doll with a messed up dress. But hey, it's from 99, so it's over 20 years old. And we sold some Barbies. Well, good, the good ones, apparently. I looked it up, Des. You sold the, the ones that were worth money for, for a dollar. But the other ones that weren't worth anything are still there. And here's the, uh, another Barbie. So, a little messed up, but hey. It's got a nice dress on. Hey, don't show, don't be naked. No streak in there. There you go. There. Gotta have a doll. A steady doll selection. And this is a very interesting one. It's a karate goofy. Yeah. He's dirty. He needs, he needs to be washed. I actually already had one of these, but I thought, hey, let's get another one. It's Pluto in a boat. Here's a toucan. Toucan Sam. Just kidding. It's a toucan guy from Rio. Just 
I thought maybe people like figures from movies, even if they're not that great. Here's a speaking figure from movies that aren't that great. This is a, actually I have one of these. It's Disney. It's Aquafina character from Raya the Last Dragon. I believe it's not that good. Oh, this is one that's going to my collection. All right, this I forget his name, but he was in Toy Story Three. He's like the bug guy. What's his name? Don't remember. But yeah, Toy Story thing I didn't have. This is going up for Christmas on our tree. This is Christmas Eeyore the Bell. Isn't that lovely? Here's another interesting little kid's toy from who knows it needs to be washed. It's Mickey in a fire truck. And it looks like it has some weird stuff in the back. I have no idea what that's about. But it's VTech and yeah. This is Patrick! Got a little thing on his back. I don't know what that's about, but be squeaky. Interesting. We got a little pageant. You think of Nickelodeon? We got a rocket power, which looks like it had a escape or something. I don't know what the scares name is, but rocket power. 2000s. Very 2000s. Another strawberry shortcake character. Don't know what this one is. Blueberry. Oh, thank you, Des. Here's that other Ice King. Don't care. And here's a little Jawa. From Star Wars. Charger here. works. And there's a uh, piece of dress. And the last two things in this is this Winnie the Pooh plate and this Teletubbies plate. That has a sticker on it. It's lovely. This is keep this. Don't know. I didn't pick this up. The Teletubbies is not keeping. You got one last bag here, but it should be a lot quicker to get through. First thing we found a Ouija board. We're going to summon a demon. Just kidding. Demons and ghosts aren't real. But I picked this up because it was complete and I don't know what we're doing with this. It's mine. It's mine. And it it has the original... What is this called? I don't remember. But yeah. The needle. The... We have this one. We're going to summon a ghost to haunt the, the house. Just He's kidding. like right in front of a graveyard. If that doesn't work, then it's not real. Okay. We got books for ourselves, basically. This is Don't Let the Pigeon Stay Up Late. Which I'm reading. That's pretty cool. So I guess she likes, she likes coloring books. So I guess she picked up some ones. Harry Potter Magical Creature coloring book. What we got? We got Disney Villain coloring book. These are never been colored in, so there's that. We got... Would You Rather Be a Bullfrog by Theo Lee Singh, who, in case you didn't know, is actually Dr. Seuss. That's his pen name he used when he wrote a book but didn't illustrate it. In case you're wondering, his real name is Theodore. And I think it was Siege? His maiden name? No, I'm not sure if his mother's maiden name or not. His the last name was Geisel. His middle name was Seuss. Fun fact. Here's a classic book, Cordori, I think. Corduroy? Corduroy? I never read this, but it looks interesting. Love kids books. I already had this, but I'm gonna... I'm not sure I look at my books, see whether this one's better or not. And let's give it extra of these out, because everyone likes Dr. Seuss books, especially me. Hop on Pop. A great one. Here is some embarrassing bears, Bears on Wheels. This is Embarrassing Bears in the Spooky Old Tree. And yes, her name is the Berenstain Bears. And that's Berenstain Bears. Convict's exception. Here's another. This is a coloring book? Mm -hmm. Yeah, coloring book for Hocus Pocus. This is the uh, original. Yeah, the original. Also, I was like, it better not be that sequel, because that sequel sucked. This one has some damage, but it looks interesting. It's a pretty. I feel like this is bigger than the one I have. The Green Eggs and Ham. Probably one that fast. Let's see if there's any damage on the inside. Just because it doesn't look there is. Which is good. Probably one of the best Dr. Seuss books. Uh, this is one that she picked up. She loves Little Mermaid. This is Disney Princess Seal with a Kiss. This is, looks really good. with that book. Did you? Let's see what the date is on it. And it tells you. 
that sequel was 2006. You grew up this year. You read this in your eight? Yep. All right. This is SpongeBob Pop Up. This came out when the first movie came out. I love that old SpongeBob logo. And this one is pretty interesting. I actually never had a pop up book really as a kid, but. Okay, that's. But isn't that neat? I think you can pull this. Okay, that, it's kind of hard to showcase this in a video while doing it. But yeah, it pops up and you can like push Gary in and now it looks like here. That's pretty neat. I have no idea what this book is, but she loves mermaids, my fiance. It's for my little sister. It's for her little sister. But you do love mermaids. Yep. I don't know what this is. This is Giggle Giggle Whack. I grew up with that book. And of course, more coloring. Spongebob. Didn't flip right, but who cares. Uh, this is Alice in Wonderland book, it looks like. Interesting. Oh, this was heavy. This is a Disney scary story of a collection. I don't do not know what this is about. It, looks it like has all the Disney stuff. Pooh and Mickey and... There's a lot here. Tarzan. This is one I already have, but hey, someone else can enjoy it. This is... One fish, two fish, red fish, and blue fish. And here is one of the uh, Dr. Seuss spin-off books, Fly Went By. And it's not written by Dr. Seuss, though. This is one of the uh, other ones, but hey. That is everything. That actually went longer than I thought. So what's your favorite thing? For me personally, it was none of them. Just kidding. I liked the books because I want to read them. Anyway, hope you have fun thrifting with me. And keep on thrifting.